Here's Brody Brazil. We've talked a lot about the big summer of change for the San Jose Sharks. And there's obviously a new GM, a new head coach, some new players, uh, a brand new rink for the San Jose Barracuda. Tech CU Arena is awesome, by the way. I can't wait for everybody to check it out. But I'm also excited to see this for the very first time in mid-October. That's the brand new scoreboard for SAP Center. Now, the first one, the original one, was there until the mid-2000s. The second generation one was just in and now out for about 10 plus years. And now we're getting this third generation scoreboard, which looks to be gigantic. It looks to be beautiful. These photos that I'll, I'll share with you, they're from team president, Jonathan Becker. He's put them on social media. He's also said that we're not gonna see the full capabilities of this until mid-October when that first Sharks home game happens. So understand that if you go to a preseason game or if you go to any other event at the tank, you're not going to see all the bells and whistles of this scoreboard until the very first night. But as for right now, I mean, the, the number one takeaway for me is size. Not just that, that upper ring, which I imagine sits uh, higher than the main part, but also the main part itself, four-sided, but no real corners. All the edges are rounded. That offers a completely different perspective on capabilities and viewing um, angles. It's what all the modern arenas and the brand new arenas are putting in is scoreboards just like this, or the older arenas that are retrofitting their scoreboards, they're doing exactly this. So I'm excited that the Sharks are not only keeping up with everybody else, but now they are way ahead of the curve in a brand new amenity at the tank. A couple other cool things that I've seen Jonathan put out in photos are those screens on the underside of the scoreboard. Now, a lot of you would say, well, what's, what's that for? Why would you need that? How would that be valuable? Um, having spent a decent amount of time on, a, on an NHL bench or maybe around the, you know, the immediate rink and the boards, you know, it's hard to really see a full glance at the scoreboard because you're really kind of craning your neck up and back to look up at it. And especially when it's this gigantic, uh, you know, when you sit down there, seeing everything might be difficult. This is a very cool amenity that newer buildings have started to put in in the last decade or so are these screens on the underside of it. So you get basically the same experience and same visuals by just looking up, you know, a little bit instead of having to look up all the way. So that is a first class feature right there. I am stoked to see that SAP Center is going to have those screens. There's another look at it. Again, they're not obviously as big as the outside of it and the four sides of the main scoreboard or the ring above, but that is that is huge. That is clutch for everybody on the bench or penalty box or everybody sitting in the first couple rows of either side of the rink. Here's another vantage point. This was from... Uh, previous weeks. So the first picture I showed you is the most recent. Uh, this is them putting up the SAP center sign. I just like the fact that it's simple, right? The last one with some of its stainless steel features, it was still modern. Don't get me wrong, but I think over time, you know, became a little bit dated. Obviously the screen size was not as big as what else is around the league and the resolution. I believe this one is capable of either four or 8k. I don't know if they're immediately going to turn that on. Uh, but the size and just the sheer, you know, screen dimensions here are going to blow you away. And this thing will not really get dated because of the fact that there's no other materials than just a lot of screen space. Look at that scissor lift right there. It gives you an idea how big that thing is. By the way, uh, I'm not saying this is comparable, but this is a brand new scoreboard they just put in for TechCU Arena. And that in itself... Honestly, that in itself was probably is probably better than the old scoreboard that the Sharks had at the tank. So this was one of those weird situations where the AHL team was about to have a better scoreboard than the NHL team if the Sharks didn't in fact go forward and give themselves a new scoreboard for SAP Center. But even this one, I mean, I've been across the league. This is as good as a lot of NHL teams have it. And now the Barracuda have this for their brand new barn as part of Solar for America Ice. So again, that's what it's looking like lately. I can't wait to see it at full steam. I think this is just going to be, you know, one of those one of those many reasons why 
SAP Center is one of the eldest venues across the NHL. It's getting up there in age, but all the improvements they've done to it over the years, from the brand new ice surface, to the boards that were replaced, to the sound system that got replaced, to the constant cleaning and polishing that they do. I mean, they, they take care of this place like Disneyland and the LED light system that was recently installed. I mean, they are adding all of the new features that new buildings have to this place. It's in a great location. It's sentimental to all of us, obviously. So I'm so glad to see the Sharks putting in an investment like this that I think all of us are going to appreciate. I just can't wait now until we see it for the first time.